woes, your computer problems? What can I do for you? Well, this is a, uh, a camera question. All right. I have a, a Sony camera, an H1, and uh, I was just wondering, is there a way to dump my camera, you know, the memory stick, basically, onto my MP3 player? <laughs> yeah, without going apart through a computer, me. that's the kick. Yeah. Um, you want to eliminate the computer. A lot of people do this, and there, uh, you know, there are is, is there are actually products designed for this. Um, Epson makes, for instance, a, basically a photo wallet. But the problem is this memory stick. Now, by the way, I like that H1. It's a great camera. I love it. But I wish Sony would stop trying to make up new forms of memory, right? Exactly. So if you had a camera that used Compact Flash. I could tell you a number of uh, products that would help you do this. There's a, I think, is it Belkin that makes that bridge uh, that allows you to, or is this it? Oh, Memorex, uh, Memorex. traveling. This, this, this does it. Yes. Okay, d but does this work with memory stick? It does. It does. We found one that works with memory stick. Cool. All right, so this is the Memorex Travel Link. Okay. And uh, so, you know, I'm going to have to ask Sean to help me out on this one because I see it has batteries and has a USB connection. How does he get this into his MP3 player, though? All right, well, it has uh, slots on the one side so for the, the memory card, so it will do CF, uh, memory stick, wow. secure digital. On the other side, it has two spots uh, with uh, typical USB connectors, right. that, anything that connects as a storage class, so mass storage class. Mass storage. So if you're, uh, and that's the key, is that whatever MP3 player you're going to hook this up to has to be able to be seen as a hard drive. Right. right. So now sometimes, in fact, Sony's ironically the one that's most often guilty, guilty of this. You have to use their specialized software to copy stuff onto the MP3 player. But if your MP3 player is of the kind that you just plug it into the computer and it shows up as a hard drive, this will work with it. Good. I do have a Sony MP3 player, but uh, you, you, it's true. You can't uh, download music the conventional way, right. but it will accept files. Okay. You can drag and drop files, for instance. Got it. That's like an iPod, where you can plug it in, you don't have access to the music, but at least you can store stuff on it. Exactly. So what you're going to do, I gather your desire is to make your, and this is a smart idea, when you're on the road, you don't want to carry a laptop with you, make your MP3 player be a kind of disk storage media, or a picture storage medium so you can offload your camera memory. Exactly. Yeah, that's a smart idea. Yep. Uh, you know, Belkin makes such a thing for the iPod, but it's compact flash only. That's where I was getting a little concerned is that you might be limited because of memory stick. But this is good. This is the Memorex Travel Link. Okay. And really, it, what, it, what it is basically is a USB reader with some circuitry in here that allows it to also act as a host for an MP3 player. Oh. Clever, eh? Clever indeed. Thanks to Sean Carruthers, our gadget guru, for finding that one. Great. How much is that roughly? Is it 100 bucks? Uh, I think a bit under 100 bucks. No, I haven't checked under. over the last uh, week or so. Under 100. 100. Yeah. Yep, there you go. It's That's a good idea. A slew of memory sticks. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, exactly. It's a lot cheaper than buying a lot of extra memory. Yep. Yeah. And Epson and a number of other companies make these uh, great, I think, really clever devices that allow you to put uh, compact flash. In, you know, they're basically like an MP3 player with a big screen so you can look at your pictures so you can put compact flash in there. And the reason it's compact flash is because it's generally used by uh, people who uh, are professionals, right? right? And so they mostly are taking pictures with compact flash. This is what I was talking about, the Epson P4000 photo storage viewer. There's a 2000 yeah. too. This, I mean, it's really handy for the a lot of pros use these. And it's the same, but it's your idea, which is you take the memory out of the camera, put it into something, yeah, exactly. and take it home. Yeah. Yep. So how, big is your, how big is your MP3 player, though? Uh, it's got six gigs. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. No okay, problem. that's the equivalent of six cards. So that's, 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 that's certainly a, a step up from buying six cards, as you say. Exactly. Well, thanks for the call. I appreciate it, Norm. Okay, thanks a lot, Leo. All right.